Hello and welcome to a book review from Warhammer40kbookreviews.com Today I'm taking a look at Vengeful Spirit, a book in the Horus Heresy series. Now many of the books in the Horus Heresy series have very little to do with Warmaster Horus himself. They instead focus on the many dramatic events that unfolded in parallel with Horus's actions. Not so with Vengeful Spirit. In this book, the author Graham McNeil brings us right back to the instigator of the Imperium Civil War. And that alone will probably convince a great many Warhammer 40k fans to snap up the book with as much glee as an orc chopping up some squishy humans with a dull axe. But the question is of course if this juicy slab of uh, fanboy bait is enough to leave the reader feeling filled and satisfied. There are two main stories uh, that run through the vengeful spirit. On the one hand, we follow Warmaster Horus in the midst of his grand campaign against the Emperor. Having come to the sudden realization that the Emperor is actually really, really, really powerful and will be impossible to defeat even for a Primarch in open battle, Horus is uh, seeking alternative means to empower himself. So he might avoid a very embarrassing spanking by Daddy when he finally decides to get his ass to Terra. Fortunately, he believes to have located just such a magical MacGuffin on the planet Molek, and so he sets about throwing a gigantic army, supported by his own space marines, uh, the Sons of Horus, and one of the other traitor legions, the Death Guard, against the mighty defenses of Molek, with the wholesale blood-soaked slaughter as the only natural result. At the same time, we follow the ex-Sons of Horus space marine Loken, who was once part of the inner circle of Horus. Having survived attempted murder by his fellow Legion brothers, Loken is now back on Terra and has been handpicked by Malkador the Sigilite, right hand of the Emperor, to lead a patchwork team of space marines on a super secret stealth mission. The objective of that mission is the flagship of Horus, the Vengeful Spirit, which the small team will infiltrate and mark so that the Space Wolves Primarch, Lehman Ross, will be able to board the ship at a later date and find his way to his uh, nefarious brother. To be honest, the plotline concerning this special team seemed fairly uninteresting to me, perhaps because I never really felt invested in the characters, who seem very caricatured and merely fill the role of this is the angry guy, this guy is good with tech, and uh, let's not forget, I am also angry, but also an honorable warrior. Logan himself is uh, haunted by the past and struggles with his inner demons, but ultimately I had a hard time caring for him and he came off more as a whiny adolescent than a battle-hardened space marine. Luckily, the horror story in Vengeful Spirit has more meat on its bones. I could never really shake the feeling that McNeil was trying very very hard to make the Battle of Molek feel pivotal and important to the Horus uprising so that he could uh, claim that this is actually a very serious and important book that moves the Horus heresy sto story forward uh, and not just being a, a cash grab. Uh, but despite the the nagging sensation that uh, kept scratching at the back of my brain like a hostile saga trying to invade my mind. I did find much to like about the Horus Heresy story. The War Master is seen once again as the leader of vast armies and making war, actually breathing some meaning back into his title. This leads to suitably epic battles where Titans stride mightily onto the fields of battle and space marines lay waste to the puny forces of the Imperial Guard. There's no doubt that uh, Vengeful Spirit works best if you are in the market for a Warhammer 40k book that is all about battles. If you get your kicks from the sounds of plasma explosions on Terminator Ceramite armor, then you'll get some uh, big buckets of kicks from this book. If you enjoy reading about the exploits of uh, Warmaster Horus himself, then you'll also uh, like this book, I think, or if you're just a big fan of the Space Marine books in general. But if you require a truly gripping story or some fleshed out characters to get the most out of your Warhammer 40k adventures, then you might want to give Vengeful Spirit a pass. 
I give Vengeful Spirit 3 out of 5 Chainswords.